Hi guys, Robbie 46 here, and yes, Ride is back. A lot of people been asking me to bring Ride back to continue with the uh, World Tour mode or Career mode or whatever you want to call it. So um, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're uh, gonna do the endurance race in the uh, Pro Circuit Championship, and it's gonna be at Donington, and we are on the Suzuki. So let's see. Uh, how this feels because I haven't played ride in such a long time so I don't know how it's going to feel I don't know how well I'm going to do because I'm so used to Moto GP 15 now um, what the hell the ride is doing auto drive and it's messing up right okay but that was a successful first corner so that's all good let's say we can uh, oh wheelie Alright, excuse me, gents, coming through. Ooh. It will take me a little while to uh, get back up to speed, but um, as long as we win. As always, the uh, settings are on the hardest. Um, realistic difficulty, pro simulation, and all that kind of stuff. Manual gears. Alright, well. Wow. 0.8 up to second place, so that's not too far behind him. We've got eight laps, so quite a way to go yet, so that's that's fine. Now where to break for here? Is that 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 was maybe a little bit too late, but that's fine. We didn't crash, we didn't go on. Someone's trying to overtake someone is gonna overtake on the Ducati. No you don't. With your pink helmet. Oh, oh Jesus, <laughs> he's crashed. Well that slowed the leader up, so that's good. Maybe that was the leader that crashed and uh, slowed second place up. I don't know, I'm second now. Let's get the leader. Alright. Well, there's one lap done successfully without going off track and uh, crashing. So all is well at the moment. Are we going to... Yes, we are. There we go. In the lead. Alright. I have forgotten about the... Uh, how bad the frame rate is compared to GP15. The frame rate on this, you may be able to hear the crackling noise, you may not, um, but I can when I'm playing it. There's a really annoying crackling noise when the frame rate is just being stupid. Um, and it's, it is really off putting having a bad frame rate because it's. Uh, yeah, it's it's just not very smooth. But compared to GP15, you know, GP15 is a hell of a lot smoother than this, and there's no crackling noise. So that's a big plus for GP15. And also the uh, rider animation is a lot more fluid on GP15. It looks a lot more natural um, on this. It looks a, a little bit stiff, but you know, at least you can uh, create your own riding style in this. I wish they put that in uh, the GP games. It would be nice to have it in the next one, but I don't know. Right, well, the lead is ours at the moment. And one thing I've noticed after the two laps um, that we've basically completed now is that you can push the bikes a lot more on this rather than uh, what you can on GP15. Um, but you don't get as much feel through the uh, controller as you do in GP15, I find, especially with the front. Um, in GP15, because they actually use the uh, impulse triggers pretty well in that. Um, you can feel the front end on the uh, left trigger if you're braking a bit too hard whilst lent over. You can feel it starting to... the trigger vibrates just to let you know that uh, your front's going to wash out any moment now. But um, you don't really seem to get that as much on this. Like I said, you can... it does feel like you can push the bikes a lot more. Uh, it is more forgiving than GP15. but. Um, I think I definitely prefer GP15. Just, I mean, mainly because of the frame rate. I mean, if the frame rate wasn't an issue, I would have thought by now that they might have brought out a patch to fix the frame rate. Because this game's been out like over a year now. Um, or is it a year? I don't know. Can't remember when it came out last year. Some, or was it this year? I don't know. Can't remember. I know that uh, like GP15 is a shambles when it eventually came out anyway. But yeah, it's. Um, I would have thought in all that time they would have at least brought out a patch, even if it was just to fin um, fix the frame rate, but unfortunately they haven't. Um, they have brought out a new bike pack uh, that came out a few weeks ago, 
or maybe a month ago. I don't know, I haven't really been keeping up with uh, Ride. But yeah, you would have thought, instead of doing a bit of DLC, why not just fix the game first and then do your DLC, but no. Hey, well, that's unfortunately the world we live in. I mean, it did take them quite a while to fix the uh, the gear um, changing foot in GP15 to go in the correct position and the correct direction, but uh, at least that's fixed now, but they haven't done the frame rate on this, which is a shame. I don't know if they're going to be doing a ride too. I imagine they might, but if they do, they really need to figure out what the hell they're doing. Um, I think maybe now that they've done GP15, as they go, oh shit, no, oh, what a save. Um, as they've been doing GP15, I think they may have learned a bit more about the Xbox One because um, Ride was their first. Oh, get my shit. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Oh, we've lost a few positions. Never mind. Hopefully we can get back. Um, yeah, when they done Ride, it was their first game that they've actually done for the Xbox One. Um, whereas the year before, uh, GP14 came out on the PS4. Um, so they had a bit of knowledge about that. Um, we know that apparently the Xbox is a bit of a bastard to uh, code for. Um, so, unfortunately, that's why Ride was a bit of a mess when it came out, and still is a bit. Um, but I think that that extra year experience with uh, GP15 may, hopefully, fingers crossed it is milestone after all, um, it may have actually paid off because we don't really get that much frame rate issues in GP15. Um, so hopefully they might have learned from their mistakes, and uh, if they do make a ride to, then uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, that uh, it won't have frame rate issues as bad as this, if at all. Um, which would be nice, and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just wait and see what happens. Right, so we're catching the two leaders now, after a stupid crash, because I completely outbreak myself. Alright, we can get these guys. We've still got best part of two laps to go. Just over two laps to go. Come on! Where are we going to get these two? Probably in the first sector of the lap. We are catching them up quite rapidly now. Oh, really wide. That's right, we can pull that back and get a good exit. Right, well, we've been 0.7 quicker than we have done all race, so that's a big plus. Right, we're catching these guys now. Can we? I know where we're going to catch them on the left-handed down crane of curves. Here we go. Catch them up big time, I reckon. Yes, shove it up the inside, come on. Yes! There we go, back in the lead. What a move. Definitely getting a lot more confident with the game again. It didn't really take that much longer to uh, get get back into it. It just takes a little while when you're used to something that feels a bit better. Um, I mean, if I play GP14 now, it'd take me a little while to get back into that because the handling... Although it's only just been tweaked, um, it will feel like completely different to GP15. As I go really wide again, but managed to stay on the track at least. Alright, we need to get away from these boys. Alright. Come around to start the penultimate lap. Hopefully we can just carry on going the way we're going. I can't even remember half the bikes I've got in this game. Obviously I've got this Suzuki, but... Um, it is the only pro racing bike I've got, or track bike, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I think I did have others a while ago, but I may have sold them because when I done the, um, well, both the riding style um, recreation on this game and um, doing the lap times with two bikes every week, I had to sell a load of bikes because I kept running out of money to buy stuff. Well, I, I don't know if they fixed the bug with the riding gear, but if you 
choose a riding gear, say you want to change it and you buy the a new set of levers and that, for some reason it doesn't say that you still own the old set of levers, so if you want to change back to them you have to buy them again, which I found really frustrating when I was doing the um, riding style recreation because um, every week I had to buy new levers and helmets and gloves and boots and that, and then sometimes even a new bike. Um, so I kept running out of money and I had to sell loads of bikes on this game just so that I could keep doing that. But uh, So it would be interesting to have a look at my garage to see what bikes I actually have. Oh, off the grass. Alright, so, final lap coming up. We're slowly pulling away from second place. And I think we should be good to go. Don't even remember what lap times I was doing on this game before I stopped playing it. Um, so I have no idea how quick I am at the moment. I'd imagine quicker than what I am going at the moment. No, we saved it, it's fine. 2.3 ahead of second place. Alright. What I might do also, um, with this PS2 emulator, which is meant to be coming to PS4, um, if Tourist Trophy can work on the PS4, then I will do videos on Taurus Trophy because that used to be my favourite bike game and uh, yeah, I would love to do some videos on that just because I think it would be really fun. Um, I know that the graphics will be pretty shocking but uh, yeah, if uh, it does work on PS4 eventually then I will do videos on that, that's what I'd love to do. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But at the moment, we are on ride, we're finishing our first race back on ride, and we have won the endurance race around Donington Park on the Suzuki GSXR 1000. And there we go. First place. Well, that's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like, subscribe to my channel for more content, and I shall see you guys in the next video. See you!